Hi everyone, I'm Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. Welcome to Serpente Sunday for October 31st, 2021. We are going to talk about why snakes flick their tongues. Because it's Halloween, I have to start with some weird history in regard to snake tongue flicking. The philosopher Aristotle actually thought that the forked tongues of snakes doubled their gustatory sensation so that snakes could savor what they ate twice as much. And the Italian astronomer Giovanni Hodierna thought that snakes used their forked tongues to clean dirt out of their nostrils. Those are both pretty weird, but I don't think those are as weird as these next couple. Some people during the 17th century actually claimed to have watched snakes catch flies and other animals between their tongue forks as if they were using them as tongs or as pincers to hang on to these things they were going to eat. And in recent history, unfortunately, lots of myths about snakes persist. And one of those is that snakes can sting you with their tongues. All of you that watch this channel should know that none of these things are true, but we have to give Aristotle credit where it's due. He came closer than anyone to figuring out the true reason why snakes flick their tongue and what those forked tongues were for, because he surmised that it had to do with eating and with taste. And tongue flicking certainly does have something to do with those things. Here are some fast facts about snake tongues. Well, all snakes have tongues and those tongues are forked and their tongues serve as sensory investigators. It's, it, they serve sensory functions and it's part of how they investigate their world. Tongues are not used to manipulate prey, but tongue flicking does help snakes to locate their prey by detecting chemical cues in the environment. And the tongue can be extended with those forks spread wide apart or held close together. In fact, some arboreal snakes, once they've oriented towards the prey and know where it is, will extend their tongue with those forks together like they're pointing at the prey item. Why do snakes tongue flick? Well, that is the question we're answering in this video, isn't it? And it's to find stuff out. It's how they investigate their environment, experience sensations, and acquire information. They can locate food, locate water, and locate others like friends or foes, meaning they can find conspecifics, they can find enemies, or at least be aware of where their enemies are, and they can find their prey through tongue flicking. It's also a way that they can locate home. They leave pheromones in the environment as they travel, and they also mark their dens and territories with pheromones. So they can find their way back home through tongue flicking and being able to smell familiar scents like themselves on those territories. All of this should tell you that tongue flicking is very much related to smell. It isn't the only source of olfaction for snakes, but it's a major one. Watch a snake that is moving through its environment in an exploratory manner, undisturbed by any human observer, and you will notice it is frequently flicking its tongue to sample chemical cues associated with its surroundings. That's a quote by Harvey B. Lillywhite from one of my favorite books, How Snakes Work. Gathering information in this manner is called chemoreception. And snakes collect chemical cues in the form of molecules with the tongue. They bring those molecules into the mouth where they make their way to the vomeral nasal organ and then to the brain where they're translated to mean something to the snake. Do you wanna know exactly how? Well, if you watch for our next video about snake tongue flicking, I will explain the entire process and exactly how it works. Resources that you might want to check out if you can't wait for the next video are the following. The book How Snakes Work, Structure, Function, and Behavior of the World Snakes by Harvey B. Lillywhite. And Why Do Snakes Flick Their Tongues? Snake Biology for Everybody by Professor Andrew Durso. He has a blog called Snakes Are Long and that's at blogspot.com. You can also read an article he wrote about snake tongue flicking at the concert at the conversation.com. Thank you so much for watching and for your continued interest in snake training, behavior, and 
joining me every Sunday for Serpente Sunday. Next Sunday is Super Dwarf Sunday because it will be the first Sunday in November. So our video will feature TC, hopefully doing something productive and not getting into trouble. Until then, everybody, please remember to always be kind and love your animals.